What's up guys, Sean here from Mission 4x4. Today we're gonna show you how to fit the Mactrax table on the side of a troop carrier. So the normal procedure, and this is what I use in the workshop, measuring from the crease at the backlight. Normally I use 220 mil from the backlight to avoid um, the ventilation when you open the Mactrax table. Now, the next step is to put masking tape on the body of the car to avoid any scratches into the paint. So after unboxing the Maxrax table, you will find a small box with all the hardware uh, for the fitting. Inside there is a 12 stainless steel rivets and four aluminium rivets. So we're going to use the four aluminium rivets to secure the table in place. And then we're going to drill them out and apply the sticker flex and then use the stainless steel rivets after. So from the back bracket to the front bracket, it's 1200 mil. And this is where we're going to put the next masking tape. So as we mentioned before, 220 mil. And we put our first mark. And then from the top crease here, going down, I measure 300 and this is where we drill the first hole. We need to use a 5 mil drill bit and then we're going to drill into the body. For the front bracket, we're going to mark a cross line here. So we're going to take the same dimension from the top, Chris. So you mark your 300 and then 100 mil to the back you mark another 300. So after when you have two marks there, draw a straight line. So now using the aluminium rivets, so we're going to rivet the first, the first one in, and then with the help of someone, so after when you rivet the first one, we're gonna swap sides. The next step, we have to make sure our straight line it's sitting in the middle of the holes on the brackets. And then holding it in place, we're going to drill. Then after drilling, we're going to put the second aluminium rivets in. After riveting the second aluminium rivets, make sure the max tracks it's locked in position and then now we're going to drill through that hole there then close it again and we're going to repeat the procedure on the other side Now we got the Mactrax table secure with four aluminium rivets into the vehicle. Now we're going ahead and drilling the rest of the holes on the brackets. So after drilling all the holes, now we're going to go ahead and drill the aluminium rivets out. So we can remove the Mactrax table and then apply the rust paint and then put the sick flex and rivet the Mactrax back in with the stainless steel rivets. After removing the Mactrax table from the car, I normally use the brake cleaner with a clean rag. And then we're going to clean the paint around the holes. So we're going to use the Itch Primer Gray. So apply that paint around the holes. I normally use a five mil rivet to do that. So dip the rivets inside the paint and then just move it around the five millimeter holes. Now we are applying the sicker flex and um, not too much, just, um, just enough to cover the holes. So now we are using all the stainless steel rivets that I supply you with the Mactrax and rivet the Mactrax back in. So the Mactrax table, it comes with the compression locks. So they are lockable. So you can lock your Mactrax, the, the table, the actual table, 
you can unlock it so nobody can open their table and play around with it. Over here, so what we have here, we have a multiple holes there. See, this multiple holes is for this stainless steel brackets. They are adjustable by moving the brackets forward so you can be able to fit um, four Mac tracks or even five Mac tracks. And this table, it, it takes Mac tracks um, MK2 and a Mac tracks Extreme as well. Okay, so we can hear a bit of um, rattles there. And the reason for that is this. So they are fully adjustable. 10 mil spanner. And then make the bolt a bit longer to get more compression when you close it. Now, no rattles. Thank you guys, and this is Machine 4x4 Max Rack Stable. Thanks for watching. Thank you.